So always attached to the ladder at all times? We never ever climb a ladder unattached. A safety briefing before we go up this 70 foot tower that graces the Kent skyline at Sheppey, used for height and rescue training. Traditionally falling from height has always been the biggest killer on the workplace. For example, last year 40 people were killed uh, in the UK alone. So we're going to use these cameras on the helmets to chart our climb? Yes, yeah, it'll, uh, it'll give a nice perspective of the climb. Um, we also want to use hard hats as well, just in case anything untoward happens, like you bump your head. Not as easy as it looks. No. Even clipped in and strapped up, climbing this monument of lattice and ladders is a dizzying experience. Imagine then if you're on a crane or wind turbine and find yourself in distress. People who are high up on wind turbines, anyway, they're experienced climbers. Presumably, though, you can get flustered if something goes wrong. Of course, yeah. I mean, no one's allowed on a tower like this anyway, even uh, until they've been trained first. But even the most uh, experienced person working at height, they may panic and freeze. We teach people how to rescue someone else who is stuck on a ladder. We're only, what, 15 metres up at the moment, and you can hear the wind rustling around us at the moment. There was no wind at all on the floor. By the time we get to the top, which is 22 metres up, the wind could be doing 20 miles an hour. I'm just on the slider now. The project's the brainchild of family firm Checkmate, which manufactures lifting and safety equipment on site here in Sheerness. So you're going to put one of those red lanyards onto the side rail first before you come off that slider. I'm tired now. The reward is a unique take on other landmarks and on this island of industry. The company, though, looked further afield to the offshore wind turbines springing up along the Kent coast, saw a need for engineers and technicians to rehearse disaster scenarios. Hence one of the tallest training towers of its kind in the country. We've been watching um, all the growth and all the activity in the southeast, and in particular you've got the Kentish Flats and the London Array projects. Turbines themselves have been handed back to local management, which means that they're interested in local business. So suddenly for the first time we can get in at the route to supply um, all the turbines here in the southeast of England. One thing that strikes me is that the structure does move slightly and that's obviously with, in keeping with what it's like up these, these tall towers. Yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's quite a windy day, as you can tell. To have a little bit of sway is pretty realistic. Um, people working in wind turbines and tower cranes, for example, would expect this sort of movement. So, yeah, realism's good. It's not a, a viewing area, though it feels like it. You use it for, for jump training? We use a piece of kit called a constant rate descender, whereby the, the trainee would, uh, would leave the gantry via this uh, area over here and basically we're just letting down at a set speed per, per second and that's to simulate a rescue from, a, from the top of a wind turbine. It is a long way down. I'm going to hook you up onto this, onto that. What you're going to do is you're going to sit on the edge and you're going to pull through the slack. Just wiggle thin, your bum off. In thin air. In thin air. Right, OK? Yeah. This might look scary, but the descent is smooth and controlled. Turbines, though, are almost four times as high. It's dangerous work. The tower's designed to make it safer. Derek Johnson, ITV News, Sheerness.